everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and I'm giving you guys my first impressions of the three new characters or heroes that will be included in tomorrow's update. But you know, we're, we're done with the maintenance spirit already, so we have three new heroes, not two. Um, the first one is going to be Tony. Tony is actually a R unit. She is of uh, animal or wind. So let's take a look at uh, Tony here and see if she's worth using. Okay, so this is her passive. This one, um, every five basic attacks gain one stack of enthusiasm. So increase attack speed by 19 max is going to be three stacks which is roughly what fifth no 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 57 percent so increase attack speed by max of 57 percent this one is going to be this is your basic attack so 190 percent ad okay so tony by the way is um is a hoplite so active skill so two active skills to choose from the first one is for energy. Tony launches her godly cut to complete the style, consuming all stacks of enthusiasm to deal physical damage equal to 192 plus uh, AD to target enemy. Godly cut has a 45 chance of making to make mistakes, which reduces its damage by 20, and a chance to be perfect, which increases the damage 35. This is weird because um, I don't want to have a skill like this that it, that has a chance of reducing its damage. So first and foremost, I don't like this skill. And second of all, it consumes your stacks here. The enthousi enthusiasm stacks. I think, yeah, enthusiasm stacks. So I don't like this skill number, this, the, this godly cut. The other one is blunt cut. Both are uh, active scale damage. This one is a cleanse. Has a cleanse. Tony cuts uh, straight across with her shears, consuming all stacks of enthusiasm. Again, she will consume stacks of enthusiasm, which will decrease her attack speed. She gains it every five attacks. It's, it's a weird. It's a weird mechanic because you improve in one thing. But you, once you use it, you're gonna be, you know, not be good at that. You're gonna be proving at one other thing, and one skill has a chance of decreased damage, which I don't really like. Okay, so each stack of enthusiasm reduces the mis mistake. It's also it's also a mistake rate by ten percent. So again, I don't like the mechanic on Tony. This has a lot, a lot. It it. It was made. It kind of is made good, but the I think they overdid on the her skill mechanic. Um, don't really like it. It has a chance of, you know, mistake rate reduce. There's a mistake rate. That's what I hate. Okay, so just gonna go through. At first glance, I don't like her kit. I, I'm not sure if you guys are going to use her um, for her ultimate it's called premium membership hmm. tony shows all platinum and card consumers her credible haircutting technique dealing blah 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 physical damage ad to enemies within circular air granting one fad to all allies fad is a buff repository which drops random buffs okay so i don't like this as well this is going to be a random buff so drop rate <laughs> The buff can benefit from each and every one of these. Okay, so again, I, I don't like random. I don't like uh, decrease efficiency, decrease rate. I don't like stacks being consumed because those stacks are going to give you buffs. I don't like the mechanic. And first glance, I don't like her mechanic. What do you think, guys? What do you think of Tony? I'm sure you guys will get her. Most of us will get her because she's of our rarity. Anyway, let's go to Icicle. So Icicle here is included in the banner which uh, Sheru is in. So let's uh, see if 
Icicle is worth it because uh, she's the one that we've seen for quite a while in the banner. This one is her passive. Icicle deals 3610 more damage to enemies with 369 stacks of encroaching cold. Ooh. When her basic attack deals damage, she will launch an additional freezing round. Apply one stack of encroaching cold and freeze target for 1.5 seconds upon entering battle this effect can be triggered once per 10 seconds encroaching cold we know what that is so decrease attack speed frozen is a unit is paralyzed temporarily this is nice this is nice at first glance this is nice this is a nice passive to have this is more of a control passive with encroaching cold and frozen mechanic here and increased damage when stacks of encroaching cold are you know are increasing this is her basic attack so that's usual this is her two attack and attack active skill okay first one is a uh, frozen raid so icicle raise the enemy by dashing to their back and shooting them eight bullets in a row so she's an assassin sorry I didn't mention I forgot to mention that so going back dashing to their back and shooting them eight bulls in a row dealing physical damage to each hmm. to launch a freezing round encroaching cold the target hit will also be frozen for one second temporary paralyzed encroaching cold so this sh she's a bit of a she's a bit of a control assassin with a lot of debuffs and a dislocate icon here this one is the other you know option both have four energy by the way icicle launches a death bomb to deal physical damage to within a circular flick one stack take 50 percent more damage i like this one better because she's an assassin definitely she'll be going for the back She'll be dashing towards the back. So I like I like this more. This will really paralyze the back. This reminds me of um, Aluya, but more of a control mechanic, encroaching cold and freeze. So they they will you know they will be stopping for a while or they will be slowing down at attack speed. And the last one is going to be Mania. This is her ultimate. Icicle raises a booming storm in the battlefield, dealing physical damage equal to 169 to all enemies within a circular area, applying one of three stacks of Reconchi Cold on a random target hit. Okay, so it's a random target. So only one will be hit. It's, it's still good. The damage is to all enemies, but the debuff is just to one random target hit. So, with that said, um, I think she's going to be good. She's going to be good for control. She's going to be give a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, action to encroaching cold teams. She's going to be crucial, I think, because if you intend to freeze the back row, then you will need her because she has the, she has the ability to dash. Hmm. Nice, nice kit. I like her kit. I'm gonna summon for the banner. Definitely. So hopefully tomorrow I can summon for her as well. I'll try to build her up for you guys and see how she performs. I'm actually excited in building a, a encroaching cold team. So next up is uh, the last one, which is Sheru herself. So for Sheru... Let us, let us, um, you know, I'll try to recall what the previous um, skill that I showed you versus this one. I'm sure they made corrections or changes versus the final release. So for Sheru, so she is a guardian. So I definitely need a guardian. That is why I'm pulling for Sheru. I don't have uh, Caesar. That's my problem. I only have Gildan. So... Don't have a choice. I have to pull for this banner. Um, passive. After casting a skill, Shiro enters fr Frost Sugarcoat state. 
So a unit in Frost Sugarcoat, Sugarcoat State can move or declare a basic attack within 6 seconds. Instead, gain 20% bonus healing received. So she'll turn into an Ice Wall, basically. Upon being hit, deals physical damage equal to 10% of the damage taken. Yikes. And has a 48% chance of deflicting one stack of encroaching code on the attacker. Kinda okay. Kinda okay. Uh, this is only within 6 seconds. So she'll reflect 10% of the damage. She'll be wall basically. And a chance to put encroaching code, which is actually a bummer. So kinda nice. Um, basic attack is 200 AD, 20%, which is high. This is her active skill. So the first one is first no. Let's let's see what is what complements her passive. So Shara throws her umbrella. She aims at an ally. Then she grants herself and a target ally a shield. If she aims at herself, then she grants herself a random and a random ally a shield. The shield strength is equal to 20% of Shara's max HP and grants a shielded unit 30% bonus armor while it holds. Hmm, interesting. The very, very defensive uh, Guardian here. If she aims at herself. Wow. So two, two basically, herself and an ally. The other active, this one is three uh, energy, which is cheaper. The other one is four. This one holds her umbrella. This is Animus No. The first one is First No. Holds her umbrella and gains 20% damage mitigation within 3 seconds. Also nice. Also incoming projectiles from the enemy will be deflected to deal physical damage equal to 5% of Shear's max health to the attacker. So only 5%. So the, uh, the this one is 5 and only damage mitigation. I like this one. The first one. This one is a shield for her and for an ally. And also grants 30% bonus armor when it holds. Plus, it it's only a three, you know, a three cost skill, which is nice, which is better. Better. Shield defense is the other one. And her ultimate is Shero unfolds a sacred realm, granting all allies 30% bonus max HP. Wow. Granting all allies within 30% bonus max HP within 12 seconds. Meanwhile, generating an area that neutralizes all incoming projectiles from enemy in a circular area, which lasts for f 4 seconds. Wow. Increase HP and neutralizes range. Kind of OP to me. What what do they mean by neutralizes range? Doesn't take damage. This is actually good. The thirty percent bonus to max HP within twelve seconds is huge. She's kind of your kind of a pseudo healer, increasing HP, maximum HP. So I like her. Bonus max HP. So she increases your max HP cap your HP capacity in which when you heal, you can, you know, heal more. Nice. I'm getting her tomorrow. So again, if you want a ice wall of Sheru, you're gonna be getting her tomorrow. Then we have uh Icicle here, which is a nice addition to Encroaching Cold. I think she does a lot of encroaching cold, by the way, aside from Shiro. So both of them are going to complement Liv and uh, Basil. So we'll see. We'll see. They're, they're, they're a pretty, if I may say, defensive bunch. More A lot of defense encroaching cold team. Less offense. I'm not sure if how they're going to deal their, you know, their DPS, but... We'll see, we'll see. I'll do more reviews and play tests as you know as I get these units tomorrow. So hopefully I get them. And uh, again, Shiro is a nice pull. If you have Guardian already, if you have two Guardians, I don't think she's required. If you have one like me, I have only I only have Gildan. I'll be pulling for her. Um, this girl, Icicle, is also a nice to have if you're pulling for the the banner. 
in if, especially if you're you know trying to build an encroaching cold team you should be able to get her as well uh, she's a very nice support support assassin so more or less that's it guys so i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully my review and first impressions help you decide whether you're gonna be pulling for this or their banner tomorrow so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here